Gelligens, and welcome back to the episode of That Slot Car Bulletin for a Tuesday. As always, we have got plenty to get through, but first, thank you everyone for tuning in regularly. The channel has just hit over 2 million views. I know in the YouTube world, that's not massive, but in the slot car world, I think we're making a big impact, and I have to thank you all for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And also the channel members, which you'll see their names once the intro rolls. So if you want to see your name in the videos, please check it out. We've had a massive delivery today, something that um, I never thought would happen to the channel. Very generous, I'm doing a full video on it. It has changed the face of the slot shed. It's epic. The members have already seen it, the channel members, and I will be putting out a video, and it's gonna create a lot of content moving forward. But that's enough of that. Let's get stuck into your Tuesday bulletin. <laughs> Now let's kick off with Scar Electric and they're showing two incredible cars on their social pages. We'll kick off with the Jag. I'm a huge Jag fan. XJS, it's a 1986 Bathurst car. So if you're a Bathurst collector, if you're an Aussie racing car collector, or if you like Jag, or if you like Scar Electric, uh, this one is available. And also the Mercedes AMG GT3 GT Cup 2022 car, which is also available. My choice out of those two, I love the colors of the AMG, but You've got to go the Jag. It looks really, really good. I do have a special code for the channel. I will try and link it down below. That directly supports us. It goes straight to the UK website. And I believe there is a discount on there. I'm not too sure. You have to check it out. But it helps the channel. That's a good thing. And next we have BRM with some young timer news. I had an event and I've looked at the photos and it's very exciting because in the mix, and I don't believe it's released yet. Let me know if, if I'm wrong. I don't think it is released. Uh, the 240Z was in the mix. Did it race? I'm not too sure. I didn't see any footage. I've got photos of all the cars. If it raced, that's pretty epic because it's going to be a pre-release car. Um, again, I don't believe they've released it yet unless I've missed out on something, but really cool. I love seeing these races. A BRM 124 scale. This will be quite epic. Uh, I, I, I want to say something, but I can't because it's over there. But um, yeah, you will see some 124 action, I think, in the shed very soon. So yeah, really cool. <laughs> Next up, Le Mans Miniatures, which you haven't seen any updates from them for a while. I've got to thank Gage Masters, the Facebook page. They did post this, really good source of info there, of course. They stock items. Uh, we've got a couple of releases here, four cars. We've got the M379B uh, Le Mans 1980 Car 16. Looks incredible. Again, we've got another M379C this time, Le Mans 1981 Car 24. Uh, we've got the M379C Le Mans 1981 Car 25. And say it with me, we've got the M379C Le Mans 1981 Car 26. <laughs> it's not the same number. Car 26. These look really cool. I've only got two Le Mans miniatures in my collection. High detail. I wouldn't say they're race cars. Really good to collect. I like my Porsche. Uh, but yeah, really cool to see some news from them. I will reach out to them. They used to send me a lot of stuff to uh, let you guys know about, but it might be we're getting stuck into the year for them now. So some stuff from Le Mans Miniatures. And thank you, Gage Masters. Please check out their Facebook page. Yeah. Next up, some fly news. I think I slept on this last week, one of the cars anyways. It is a car that I have been waiting for, and I forgot they were doing it until it popped out in pictures. It is the Alfa Romeo GTV6, the 500k race of 1980. 85. I forgot where the race was. I don't think I even read where it was. Uh, this is cool. I'm a big fan of the GTV. Hot Wheels just came out with a model of this uh, in a road car. If you can hear that magpie, they want to come in here to eat, but I'm filming. Uh, so a really cool car from them. And also we've got the BMW M1, the Pro Car, Car 76 from the best year ever, 1984. Thank you. Really good year. Both good looking cars. Of course, if you collect fly, it's already on your list. If you haven't collected the fly, give them a shot. Really cool cars, look incredible. Um, I've got a fair few of the new ones here, but I, I think I need to update my fly catalog. And next up, AFX, it's not a new car. It's a really cool post they put. And I do want to share this kind of stuff. I think it's interesting. They've asked, what is your favorite car of AFX to go racing with? First, we'll go with, uh, I think it was Charles Little Jr. He posted on that post, the Super G3 from 2002, epic car. Um, I don't have that in my collection, I think I do. And I thought I'll answer mine. Can you guess what model it is first? As the Magpie sing. It is the Porsche 959 in the Rothmans. 
hopefully it's zooming in. If not, I'll, I'll give you some nice little close-ups. Uh, one of my favorite cars, super fast car. This is absolutely stunning. It looks really good. Again, I will give you some close-ups because my head's probably in the way. So that is my choice. Jump over there, post a pic on there. It's good to see when they do this stuff. They're asking for, for some uh, pictures of their old stuff, their new stuff, but we do have some of their new stuff behind us, but I have to go with, and hopefully we see a new release of the 959 because that's my choice. And next up, the Area 71 have shown some more kits. They are pumping out kits left, right, and center. The first one, we've got four versions here. It is the 488. We've got it in the GT3, the GT3 Evo, the GTE, and the GTE Evo. Again, really high quality prints. You do have to finish them off yourself. I'd like to see some more, if I can make recommendations to them, some more ready to run packages. Send out the cars with all the kit that you need to get it going. Shell, uh, of course, chassis, uh, axles, motor, that makes it a lot more inviting. Yes, it's probably more expensive, but you're gonna have to do that anyways. They should source all that from the brands they wanna use, put it together, and then you buy and fix it off yourself. That's my personal opinion. Next up, we have the NSX, again in multiple variations. GT3, GT3 Evo, and the GT3 Evo Endurance. There's some slight changes there. Very big fan of this. And let's finish it off with an American car, I believe the SCG003 GT3 in 132 and 124. If you can hear the birds singing, I apologize because they are actually wanting to come in here because this is the normal time I feed them. So you're gonna hear them sing the whole time. Apologies. And next up, I went to Outlaw Slots this week. If you haven't seen the videos, I did test, and I should say video because the other ones haven't come out yet. I did go and test the Full Earth Stealth. Really good fun. I've sent my feedback uh, back to Douglas. Uh, they're already working on a V3, which is really good. I loved it. Some issues with it, they're getting fixed. I can't wait to see V3, which is coming my way to do some more testing. Don't sleep on this chassis. It, it gives you options to change the wheelbase, to go racing in different categories. And I did get a question, who's the competitor? I don't think there needs to be a competitor because you can change the shell out and you can either race a you know, shorter wheelbase. I think you can create your own league with it. So it doesn't really need a competitor to go up against. Do I think it was a waste of time doing some of the options on it? No, because if we stop people trying to innovate, even though there's stuff that's already been done, well, we're not gonna move forward backwards or sideways. We're just gonna stay stagnant. So I think it was a really good job. So I did go to Outlaw Slots and do some reviews there, a Revo one, a lot of fun, Datsun brushless, so stay tuned for that. But the reason I'm talking about Outlaw Slots is they've got some racing that happens regularly. Every second Sunday, and I'll put the poster up here, they've got the Carrera out of the box race, which is really good to see. Only minor changes, so family friendly. I will be trying to go to some of these, um, yes. Even though it's box.car, it'll be some fun racing. And also they've got the NSR Abath, I believe, which is starting very soon. So if you are wanting to go racing in Melbourne, uh, not as serious as having to spend hundreds on your car to get it going, um, check them out, really cool. And I will be trying to base myself there on a regular basis to do some reviews because their wood routed tracks are incredible for me to do a different kind of review for you at home. And once the multi cameras come, <laughs> we're gonna have some views. There you go. Outlaw Slots, check it out. You will see me there. And let's go racing. Let's talk big races in Australia. I'm gonna keep telling you about this as we go on. We've got the Revo, show us your slots. It's coming up very soon. Please get in touch with Mike. We did do a live during the week. If you are nervous about going, if you don't think you're gonna be competitive, do not worry about that. I'm going, so at least you can beat me. Um, that's where you learn, you learn here. So yes, please reach out to Mike. Let's fill this up so we can get a really good week of racing. Two different tracks there, without alternating for some of the classes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'll be filming there, bringing it live if I can with the new cameras. We're gonna try and do a lot of stuff. So really good fun and you'll beat me, which is great. Next we have the NSR titles at Mr. Slot Car. Again, get involved, support this because there's another big brand. It's in our own backyard. Again, I am trying to get to this one. I'm juggling everything at the moment. So it's definitely a high on my cards. I might just try and jump in the Mosler. I think it was the Mosler class, just to keep it easy for me. Um, and again, come and beat me because I'm not gonna beat you. And we've also got, I did mention the Outlaw Slot classes, uh, Outlaw Slot car classes, the Carrera Cup, which is every second week, and the NSR one that's starting up very soon, which is some regular racing. Really cool, out of the box kind of stuff. Is that it? No, and we've also got, not racing, the Scalatrix swap meet. Very, very close. Yes, I'm going. Uh, will I spend a lot of money there? Probably will. Will I get in trouble from the wife? Most definitely. What am I hunting for? I, I, I wanna try and find some Power Ranger stuff and I wanna try and find some Ninja Turtle stuff to finish off my collection of, of those two. Yes, 
<laughs> I know. So if you've got that stuff and you're taking it there, you're pr probably gonna take my money. I wanna do a shout out for the Melbourne AFX HO Slot Card Club page on Facebook. If you are in Melbourne, please jump behind this. If you are in Australia, definitely get behind this. And if you're around the world, jump on it because you might see some good stuff on there. They are trying to host a second Melbourne AFX social race. Now the boys did try and tag me in it. It didn't work, legends. Just make sure you try and use the right tag because I do want to see this stuff. But because I check Facebook every day, I did stumble across it. So. I've got you covered, boys. It's on the news. Um, they are trying to host the second AFX Social Club race. It's social. It's fun. Uh, they have asked, can I host it? Boys, I don't have a track yet. Will I have a track in the future? Yes. Give me some time. Uh, the Shed is a one-man band at the moment, so yes, I will host the race in the future. There is some options there. Please go and follow. Get on board. Uh, I think this is a good thing. Will I try and attend this? Yes, I will. I definitely will but we need this happening. We need more social events and hat off to the legends for doing that. So uh, keep me posted. Let me know if you've got stuff like this in Australia, in Melbourne. Yes, definitely around the world, but I am here to push the Australian market as well when it comes to social racing, club racing, and of course shops. So let me know. So get on it, subscribe to the page, talk to them, tell them Trav sent you. And yes, I will be hosting a race here once we've got a track. So that's wrap on Tuesday's edition of That Slot Car Bulletin. We have got honestly plenty going on and this week's epic delivery <laughs> it's epic um, it's made a big dent to the slot shed so thank you so much and i'll do a full video on that as well of course we have been talking about the sydney track maker i will do a video on that with something else very soon uh, but yeah that's all i can say on that right now but as always thank you to the legends who are watching the members you make it all worthwhile and of course everyone who supports the channel be safe take care support your local bye that's like our kids here you want to say quickly come say goodbye quick 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 ready bye, bye. bye.